I know it could be frustrating when you're applying for a visa or work permit or you just wanna do a tourism and you don't have last name. If you are in this boat, then keep watching this video. So let me explain to you the entire last name or surname issue in a process. So the first step is you have your own passport, which could be your Indian passport. But after that, you apply for visa. Maybe you're applying for work visa, tourist visa, or student visa. In all of those applications, you would need last name and first name to be filled. So what if you have only first name and no last name? Let me tell you what you need to do when you apply for a visa. So what you need to do when you're filling the application, you need to put your name your one name whether it's in first name or it's in last name on your passport you put it in your last name field in the visa application and then you leave the first name field as blank or you could put fnu which means first name unknown and this way you will be able to get the visa once you get the visa the next step is to book the tickets so in case of when you book the tickets you need to put your first name and last name the same name on the application the next step would be apply for EAD you can't work without EAD here in EAD since your visa only had last name and no first name or FNU first name unknown then your EAD is more likely to have the same issue on the EAD it would be uh, your first name whatever it was on your passport it would be in the last name column on the EAD card and your first name would say on the EAD as FNU. You should not have any issue when it comes to working for an employer because what they're going to do is they're going to search you based on the USCIS number which is on your EAD and that should not cause any problems. So once you get the EAD and then you apply for a job and you get a job then most likely you would be traveling to your job otherwise you would be telecommuting. In case of traveling to your work if you are in a metro city like Chicago and Boston you could take train or a bus to your destination but if you are in a state which is uh, like Arizona and Texas which are sparse states things are far you probably be traveling uh, to your work every day and in that case you would need a driver's license so things kind of get complicated from this point onward uh, when it comes to applying for driver's license because when you apply at the DMV they will have your first name and last name in the application and if you fill the first name as FNU based on your visa then they would be questioning you because at the DMV they might not know the situation so what I would suggest take the printout from DHS site and show it to them and they might be able to consider your application but I would suggest to consider reaching out to Indian passport authorities to have your name corrected from that point onward. If you are planning to stay in the United States for extended period of time or you're planning to settle in the United States because things will get complicated from this point onward. For example, if somehow you manage to get the driver's license now you're applying for SSN uh, which is social security number so what I would suggest from uh, you know point forward when you apply for SSN number reach out to your Indian passport authorities and have your name changed you don't have to change your name in your degrees or your, your college certificates but consider changing on your passport and that will help you in the process of applying for SSN number. Once you have SSN, what you could do is you could change your name on EAD, then you could have your name change on driver's license. You know, this is not really you know, a special process. Married women do this process all the time because once they get married, their name changes. And so it's not really like complicated or not uncommon, unique situation. So I will repeat quickly, if you have only one name and you're applying for visa, you always put your uh, name in last name field and you keep your first name field or given name, name field uh, blank or FNU. If you are applying for tickets, then you put your first name in the first name field as well as in the last name field. So next, if you're applying for work permit, it would automatically going to have your first name 
based on your passport in the last name field and your first name would be FNU and then same would be with the driver's license as well and then you need to apply for your name change and that's that's very necessary because you would need the last name when you apply for loan you apply for housing or whatever it is bank account you would need it everywhere and life without last name in the United States is difficult uh, you would be questioned and you would hit the wall every single time I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any questions comment down below and I'll be replying to you as soon as possible. I will also put some useful links uh, down in the video which will be helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet I would highly recommend to subscribe right now because I create videos on learning English and when it comes to migrating to, migrating to United States. I hope this video was useful and good luck in your journey.